guys, one more week together and today I'd like to talk with you about Stop Listening the Voices of Fear. So let's start reading a Bible text that is in 1 Samuel 17, verse 41 to 44. Goliath came towards David, walking behind the soldiers who was carrying his shield. When Goliath saw that David was just a healthy, good-looking boy, he made fun of him. Do you think I'm a dog? Goliath asked. Is that why you came after me with a stick? He cursed David in the name of the Philistine gods and shouted, Come on, when I'm finished with you, I will feed you to the birds and wild animals. You know, the enemy is a specialist in threats. He plays with fear and doubt in our hearts. We can see here through Goliath's threats against David how the enemy wants to paralyze us with fear. You know, if you remember the story, Elisha was challenging the army of God, Israel, for 40 days, day and night, and they were all paralyzed with fear. They were so focused on the size of the giant that they forgot the size of their God. Let me ask you, what about you? Maybe the enemy is shouting so loudly in your head that you have forgotten about all God's promises. You know, David overcame the giant firstly because he, of course, believed in God, believed that God was with him and that the battle was the Lord's. But his victory started to take place when David refused to accept the enemy's threats. He decided not to be driven by the threats, but rather to be driven by faith. He shouted back to the giant, You've come out to fight with me with a sword and a spear and a dagger, but I'm come out to fight you in the name of the Lord Almighty. Hallelujah. You know, we definitely need to stop listening to the voice of fear. There are a lot of fearful voices around us. Unfortunately, we live in a world that is dominated by fear. If you turn on the news, you will feel the spirit of fear in the background of it, everywhere. Whatever is the source of the voice, if it is driven by fear and threats, take care. There is a strong likelihood that the enemy is behind the scenes, operating to create panic and anxiety, to disconnect you from a life of faith, from a life of peace. Let me tell you something really important. Every time that the enemy threatens you, you know, it is because he wants to paralyze you with fear. But, on the other hand, every time that the Lord allows the enemy to threaten you, it is because he wants you to move forward in faith. So what we need to understand is that every threat is actually an opportunity for a miracle. And remember, you are greatly blessed, highly favored, and deeply loved.